Holy cow, has it been a long time since, honestly, I've played on the Autocraft server, but also since I've seen you guys. Now, I'm still super busy. I honestly only get on long enough to check my shop and maybe take care of my farms, and then I have to hop off. And because of that, I really haven't made much progress. This pretty much looks the same as it did before. Still got the pandas, still got the villagers, still got the farm, and my barn. Well, I think it might be time to change that. I've got a little bit of time this weekend and a little bit of time next weekend, and I'm hoping that between the two of these, I can get something done. We can help. But speaking of our farms, or speaking of our shop, let's go ahead and check our shop. Hey yo, so Rosie here. Fast forward, this is probably a month later now that I'm actually getting back to editing this. And I am so sorry. Life is busy, but it's almost the end of Marching Man season. Okay, get back to the video. Now we do have an Elytra. We went end busting with Lazy once and Calvin and we all got Elytras, so that was nice. But beyond that, I don't have very much. I have diamond armor thanks to auto gear because I was walking around in iron and he didn't like that. So he decked me out in some diamond gear. So I've got diamond gear and an elytra, but honestly, I haven't even been to the nether, so there's no way I have netherite or a template. Okay, hey, let's see if our shops have sold anything. Womp womp. That's awkward. So the next thing that you've probably noticed is my base is kind of a mess. Like, there's random chests everywhere and... I think it's time that we start to fix that problem. Hey there. Long time no see because it's been forever. But I've made progress on my base and I just stepped on my dog. Anyway, I no longer have a barn. I took my barn down because I thought that maybe it would give me more motivation to actually work on a base. And I did that probably like a week ago. So no longer have a barn. I am currently living in what Otto has dubbed as the uh, nature reserve. I extended my crops because I needed a lot of wheat. I'm starting to collect wheat in the stacks and I actually have 60 bales of hay just gonna fill my shulker nicely boom okay because I am trying my best to stock my farms and one of or stock my shops and one of my shops is leather and I have beef in my food shop so I've been working on getting my steak and my leather all ready. I've got six cow crushers and an enormous amount of chickens. Um, I also have two zombie villagers. So I'm going to have to cure those guys. And probably put a trap door on the bottom of this. So nothing gets in there anymore. I wonder if it's spawnable in there. Maybe that's how it happened. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, you're probably thinking, Rosie, what are you doing on this season? There are people that have bases. There are people that have industrial dist districts. There's an entire sea shanty town. Just that way. Let's get it together. So I'm going to be real with you for a second. Let's fly over to the shopping district. Actually, we're going to fly to Shantytown. Just 
just take a quick peek at all of the amazingness that is happening in Shantytown. Credit to all of the amazing auto crafters over here. And there's even new stuff popping up all the time. And if we fly over to the shopping district, we've got amazing games. We've got this super cute looking garden thing over here. We've got the frogs. And I, what's in this store? I forget. Frog fodder arcade. There's different arcade games and it is frog lights. That makes so much sense. But everything is amazing here. And everybody is such incredible builders and red stoners. And I'm going to be honest, guys, I'm kind of feeling a little bit of imposter syndrome and a little bit of like creation paralysis, if that makes sense to you. Like, I want to play. I want to make videos. I want to build and do all of this amazing stuff. But, um, this is the best I got right now. Over here, I finally moved my shop from on the shore of the beach to this little cute cafe. And it's not even decorated. It's just barrels of the thing. And I did change some of the prices. I uh, These are like half of what you used to pay because you used to get eight for a diamond and I did sell some but I decided that I would double the amount um we're adding some emeralds in there because honestly I use emeralds more than I use diamonds golden carrots are still diamond two diamonds a stack and then I also have a, a name your price um for fun someone paid in redstone so I mean, I'm not a red stoner, but that's of value to someone. So yeah, this is my cute little cafe. And that's about the best building I got. Ooh, Wandering Trader. Hey, boo, what you got? Ooh, a fortune to a fish. Okay, no, I'm getting distracted. Anyway. In the grand scheme of things, it does kind of fit the boardwalk. Um... I think, I hope. And right next to my food shop, I put a little leather pop-up shop kind of thing, an extension of the cafe. But guys, everybody's doing such great things. And then there was me with my barn. You see what I'm feeling now? So oh, I took down the barn in hopes of being able to get some motivation to build something great. And I did get motivation. I cleaned up my chest clutter. Look, guys, I'm sorry. Nobody said I was organized. Your girl's just trying her best. I think I have a stalker. And I think he's stalking me because he wants to know how I've gotten to 117. But I'm not gonna tell him. I'm not gonna tell you either. <laughs> well, let's go restock some golden carrots. Oh, wrong carrots. So I had someone that was waiting for me to restock the golden carrots and he bought his fill. Yeah, so I got to restock them. Thank you, Geo. Only from the clouds while I watch. I told you I had a stalker. Vengeance. What's up? I don't know. You wanted to meet me here? Yeah, I, I want 
I want in on this. I put my name in there a couple months ago, and I haven't seen you since, so. <laughs> well, that's also not fully my fault. Calvin is also supposed to be in charge of that as well. Yeah, let's blame it on Calvin. Yes. So what are we doing here today? Are we selecting your tier? Yeah, I want this one, the so stupidly simple, stupid tough. Let me see if that one's available. That might be full. Give me one second. Okay. It does look like that you can do that. Woo! Okay. All right. Um, I don't have any glowing, but, but there's your sign right there. So you are officially the last person to ever be able to sign up for this tier. It is now officially full. Um, so basically, once you have your deposit ready, you're just going to come over, you're going to place a chest right on top, just kind of like how there is one for sure right here, and then you will put your tough inside of it. I deposit 16, I can request 30. You can request 30, not all at once, though, only in increments of 10. Okay, and if I do it by the 15th, I get a half. I believe we're just giving those out to everybody. Oh. Nope, yeah, no, yeah, by the 15th you get a hat, yes. Okay, that's really why I wanted to do this now, because I want I want the hat. Okay, yes, we will be make sure to give you a hat. Okay, cool, because if you were going to make me wait until November, I was definitely still going to ask for the hat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will. I can guarantee you that you can 100% have a hat. Yes! I got the hat. Nature reserve? Nature reserve. Uh, nature reserve. Nature reserve. <laughs>